From an interesting use for George Prout Pool to re-watching our town hall. Yep, it's that cool. These stories and so much more coming up next on Richland Now. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. The City of Richland recently held its annual Town Hall meeting in the Riverview Room of the Richland Community Center. If you were not able to attend the live meeting, then you're going to love to hear this. The Town Hall was video recorded by Richland Cable Communications and is available to watch in its entirety on City View TV Cable Channel 192 at 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. each day. You can also watch the Town Hall online anytime on City Views TV's YouTube page or the City of Richland's webpage. Our Town Hall meeting gets you educated on the City's Strategic Leadership Plan accomplishments, Richland's top projects, and the 2016 budget. We also took audience questions, so it's possible someone asked a question that you've been wondering about. The City of Richland proudly held a dedication and grand opening celebration for our newest fire station just three months ago. Station 74 is located on 2710 Dupertail Street in the Queensgate area of our town. At the November 3rd Council meeting, Fire and Emergency Services Director Tom Huntington gave an overview and update of Station 74. In terms of location, he shared that Operation Deployment is playing out just as was planned. There have been just over 300 calls for service in the first three months of operation. The Police Department will move into their satellite location at Station 74 soon hopefully by the end of the year. Tom also shared that the entire Station 74 project has been recognized by the Fire Industry Research Equipment Organization as a 2015 Fire Station Design Award winner and it will be featured in the November edition of Firehouse Magazine. Pretty cool. Some of the most innovative and groundbreaking research in the United States is happening right here in Richland. For the past 50 years, scientists at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory have led the way in advancing scientific frontiers, and now the City of Richland has an opportunity to help them with their research. In an exciting collaboration, PNNL will be renting George Prout Pool from the City from November 12th to November 16th. PNL's Office of Radiological Security is using the pool to perform panoramic source rack testing. We assure you that no harmful or hazardous material will enter the pool. You will notice a blackout tarp along the fence to ensure privacy. Well, a large tree that sits next to Fire Station 71 here on George Washington Way has become diseased and is in the process of being removed. In late October, Parks and Facilities Supervisor Sean Harper received a phone call that there was a large split in the base of the tree and it posed potential danger to the building. Sean notified City of Richland arborist Ruben Roja and he examined the tree and decided it was far too damaged to save. That's a bummer. The City of Richland values our tree canopy and we will miss the beautiful tree. We look forward to planting future trees throughout our park system. A grassroots effort to show support for the Richland Police Department is underway. Thanks to two local business owners, Jackie Valentino and Karen Buchanan, designed a powerful sticker that simply reads, We Support Richland Police. The two were moved to do something in light of all the negative national attention police have been receiving lately. And that made them want to show their support for their local department. Richland business Abadan of Tri-Cities printed 500 of the stickers for free and Jackie and Karen have been busy handing them out to local businesses. They hope that when Richland police officers see the stickers, they feel appreciated. The duo is giving the stickers away for free, so if you would like to show your support, you can email them at changingplaceswa at outlook.com. Here is an exciting opportunity. Go Green Tri-Cities is looking for committee members and collaborators. If you are passionate, environmentally conscious, and interested in furthering sustainable issues and awareness in the Tri-Cities, you're invited to join Go Green Tri-Cities. For more information on being a part of Go Green Tri-Cities, call 509-205-2034, or you can find them online at any of the links at the bottom of your screen. Well, a new bubble ball soccer league will be starting in January. To introduce the sport to the community, a tournament will be held on Friday, November 20th. 
Interested teams of four to six players, 18 years or older, can register their team to play in the tournament for only $50, which includes the equipment. Interested teams of four to six players, 18 years or older, can register their team to play in the tournament for only $50, which includes equipment. Players wear inflatable bubbles made from clear PVC plastic and play soccer for four short quarters per game. The result is a fast-paced, action-filled game where the players spend half of their time bouncing, spinning, and trying to stay upright and balanced during the time period. The new sport is hilarious to play as well as watch. To register for November's tournament or a league in January, sign up online or in person at the Richland Community Center or call 942 7629. The Richland Seniors Association is holding their annual holiday bazaar. Over 50 crafters with unique handcrafted items such as stone coffee coasters, birdhouses, embroidered items, hand-painted decor, and much, much more will be on sale at the Richland Community Center. The Holiday Bazaar is Saturday, November 14th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in the Riverview Room at the Community Center. It is also free to attend. Well, if you have questions about any of the stories you've seen here, please visit the City of Richland's webpage at the link at the bottom of your screen. I'm Gail Everett. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Richland Now.